I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. <laughs> One of them is white. Okay, for sure. Say no. it? Okay. What I was gonna say was, too many times, in a very short span of time, I had gay niggas try to get at me. I told you about some of them. <laughs> but like, when I used to work at the gym, like, it was this big 6'8 nigga got done working out. Nigga left. Uh, he, he was, it was him with a girl. He left, right? I'm thinking that's the nigga girlfriend or some shit. I ain't paying no mind. The nigga come back, right? And he was like, uh, oh, can I get a water? This, that, and the other, right? I turn around and get the water. And I hear, I hear like a little slight whisper. I can't really tell what he's saying, but like he's saying something, right? So then he, uh, he take his water. He go back to the car. The girl he was with. She come back, right? <laughs> the girl he was with comes back and was like, yo, uh, my brother think you cute. I'm like. Who the fuck is your brother? Cause mind you, these two these two niggas was like two he was a tall six eight, like six six maybe, light skinned, like swole dude with like a beard. And she was, like, tall and really, I mean, sorry, she was short and, like, really, really dark-skinned. So, I wouldn't think that they were related. Nigga, nobody had the most and worst interactions with a nigga trying to get at them than me. I don't know, bro. I done had, too, I don't know, bro. I done had too many niggas try to get at me, bro. Like, real shit. And mind you, mind you, so, when she asked, when, when she came back, right, she was like, she was like, uh, so, my, my, my brother think you cute. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? And then um, he was like the tall. She was like the, the the tall dude with the bag, right? I'm like, oh fuck no, oh fuck no, bro. And mind you, like from that moment on, cause I told I told her like like I'm not like I'm not gay or whatever, blah blah blah, right? From that moment on, like I'll see that nigga come in and I'll just catch how he's staring at me, and it's just the weirdest shit ever, bro. Like. That's the only reason I'm glad I don't work there no more. For that one reason. I promise you it don't compare. Every time I'm at SF, I forgot you do work in, uh, what you call, you, you be going to, uh, yeah, type shit on okay. Kyle. But you, you be around a bunch of crackheads, bro. Like, I feel like you got, so you have more, more gay interactions than crackhead interactions? I don't believe that. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. And, bro, I had a nigga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nigga, when I was in ninth grade, bro, I had a nigga grown-ass man try to get at me, bro. Like, that that was when I was like, okay, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck's going on, bro? Because I had to think, like, that was my very, that was the first interaction. That was the very first time. I was at the bus stop, and the niggas was saying some shit. I ain't going to go into it, because that's kind of, it, it was wild. Like, it was, it was, like, wild. But he was saying some fuck shit at the bus stop. Then another nigga on Instagram, like, probably, like, Maybe like a month and a half later, another nigga on Instagram DM me, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, I posted some light skin shit. It was like a mirror pic or something. The nigga replied to my uh, replied to my story, bro. And he was just spamming me like like weird shit, like weird shit, bro. Ever since then, it just keeps happening. Every now and then, bro. Been essayed numerous times by men and women in the last six months, but no way more cracking interaction. <laughs> Yo, uh, like that is crazy, bro. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other like Africans or anybody with like any like Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi. This guy's black? He Russian Jew and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all okay. the way from Asian to, he's literally mixed with everything. I can see it. Okay. I see his hair, sure. I can see it. I can see it. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, uh, Rosebud is actually my street, my, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname. Fitzgerald. Is it Fitzy? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. I'll be sometimes mad as shit my mom named me Fitzgerald. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too, you can't even see him, what you talking about? Aki, I knew that's what you meant. That's, the, that's why I laughed, because I, I knew like, I knew that's what you meant. Like, I wouldn't laugh at that. 
<laughs> that, that too. I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on you. That wasn't even funny. Can we all say what we wearing and everything? I got a skeleton all red. Varsity jacket, cargo <laughs> on the side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton, thing, but I crazy. got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, you can't, no, you can't. You I wish East? I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now. Buddy. Wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going. <laughs> you with that. said I did. You said half black, half white. Half black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Okay. Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on the head? It stink, it stink real bad. <laughs> what are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this nigga got, hold on. He one of them black white niggas, bruh. Y'all know exactly what I mean too. Hold on, bruh, let me, let me allow that. These niggas lame. <laughs> bro, this nigga right here, the uh, the Fritz Gerald nigga, bro, that nigga corny, bro. Blue, Marvin C, Bobby Blue. Rob, Marvin. the most chill nigga got here. Drunker, it was Tupac and. <laughs> 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 like that. Oh, look, this shit got yeah, yeah. Yeah. His vocal inflections, like, it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know, <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on Motown from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my Nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop-up and Nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> Telling them, sit your ass down. You know? <laughs> Contestants will now vote for who they think is white. Okay. Rob seems chill as hell. And he cultured a little bit. Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> So we know where, basically. <laughs> Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm gonna start off with a theme song. They need to ask about like, what's some what's some questions y'all would ask for like, to see who's black. Uh, one of the questions I will ask is like, something 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 about like a Sunday cleaning, like what music is being played when your mom cleaning the house, some shit like that. I would ask you something like that. It. We're brothers. We're happy and we're, we're singing. Singing. Finish these phrases. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Me growing up half black, half white, there's certain Are you a convicted felon? I honestly didn't know word by word what to, what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Do y'all know that? I ain't watch ATL. I ain't watch ATL, I ain't gonna lie. Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? That's gonna be so odd, bro, what the fuck? It's a famous line, y'all, I gotta know that. I ain't gonna cap, I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's complete this song. Uh, that boy got Stretch, stretch pants. pants. <laughs> boy, that <laughs> stretch <laughs> pants. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I got one, I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. No, look. Cook it real good. Yeah. Me and your mama we... whipping it up. Mm -hmm. that food okay. is smack. I was listening so intently on, on voices, because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell it's a black person on the other side, so you throw out little hints, you know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. He will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. Me. Valid. Purple. Yeah. Mm. See, like, obviously, since I can see that this nigga's black, the fact that he said grape, I would have thought him. Nigga say purple. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's low sus right there. You said great. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that. What you just said. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Cool mid. Come on, bro. Josiah, bro, you the most white black person in this chat, bro. Come on, bro. You already don't fuck with watermelon. You not cultured, bro.
you're not culture, bro. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call grape. We used to call Kool Aid bus, bro. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape, Kool Aid, not purple. Mm. Same Red flavors. flavors. Trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool Aid? It do depend on you the area. sugar to the ancestors say stop. <laughs> <laughs> In the summers, it was either if you outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't no running in the like Up, up in like inside your house, is, you know? So, y'all y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't let that good air out. Up in, said, outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't no running in the Running up, in, oh, up in inside yeah, your house, yeah, yeah. you know? So, y'all y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, 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 don't let that good air out. <laughs> when it comes to black women from the 90s, who do you think of off it? Fuck, he said it. I was going, okay. Neil Long, Megan Good, um, fucking um, Will Smith wife. What's it? What's her name? Fucking um, J yeah, Jada Pinkett. Who else? Um, oh yeah, Janet Jackson, Queen Latifah. Neil Long. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Halle Berry, fucking Hillary, uh, from uh, Fresh Prince, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. Nineties, nineties black women was like fire, man. I had a crush on so many growing up. Oh. I'm gonna say, uh, 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 ah, shit, what's her name? Ra she was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett. Rap City's. Rap City is. She's from the nineties. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's not from the 90s. She was born in 83. What the fuck? Or the sister from... Wait, you can't take two, dog. Yeah, the question was, when you uh think of 90s women, who do you think of? Something like that. Hold on. Mm -hmm. When it comes to black women from the 90s, yeah. who do you think of off of it? Be along. I'm going to say Holly Berry. I think it's that Damn. Rhapsody. Oh. I'm going to say... Uh, 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 ah, shit, what's her name? Ra she was a rapper. Um... She wow. was in her teen. Her she name? was a That's teen it. in the nineties. Jada bro. Pinkett, a or kid. the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Bro, you taking forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther. Who was the queen? You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela her. Bassett. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. There, there we go. go. There we well, go. I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her Whitley. name. Whitley. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sister Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from. That. Raven's not really nineties though. She was a kid in the nineties. Runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. <laughs> I don't even know this. Okay, I think they're gonna vote bro out right here. He's he's like really, this nigga's a cornball. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, it was the grape thing. They got him out for the grape. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> My homeboy I was matching with is gone now, bro. Yeah, they got bro out when for the grape. When it comes to being black men, microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I be chilling. PWI, predominantly like, but, but, huh? Predo huh? <clears throat> predominantly white institutions of higher learning in which white account for 50% or greater of the student enrollment. Okay. In the corner, there's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the dang for the diversity. Like, for, the diversity. For, for the diversity, right? I'm like, Bro. they only 5%. I gotta give them credit though, cause like finding us is going. What was y'all demographic in school? Josiah and JC? Gonna be a little bit tough, but like they, they found a way regardless. I ain't ever gonna lie, Loke. I'm I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far, like college and stuff like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's like the low key racist. Thing. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. I think like, this nigga so well spoken. Wow. Unless they ask like a really like fire question later on, this nigga Rob's gonna win. Like he seemed like the most chill nigga. Like and like blindly, he seemed like the most convincing. Oh, why wouldn't I be? I'm a oh, grown man. Black guy. You're like so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game. You walk down the street, right? And a white folks see you, yeah, the first me. thing they do same when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, 
and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird face. Or they face, give you, you know hella I mean? space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch their purse. Oh, Mark Mark clutch their like, bag. Yeah. Take the next elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of that. All of that. Hella room in the elevator, too. Stare at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. Okay. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like, Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Yeah, So you already know. Like, I am my brother's keeper, and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man. I watched the uh, the first Power Ranger movie, like, twice a day for, like, the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, Yo, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Morphin. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Hard is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime, too. I'm not oh, wait. You yeah. watch anime? Uh, I do. Uh, what, you, do. what you like? What you like? I can oh, Dragon Ball Z. For shows that way. Come on, y'all. Naruto. Come on. Like, don't laugh at me. Bro, I swear, bro, every nigga I know, when they find out a nigga that they meeting for the first time, like anime, bro, they always got that, oh, you like, like, they, it's always that little happy expression, bro, because, like, anime is just something that, like, hold on, I got you with, uh, I know they doing you, I know tripling down, it's crazy, but these niggas are so, like, <laughs> nah, I'm already knowing, bro, but, like, every, every nigga I know, let me click allow. Oh, I forgot, bro. Go ahead, do your thing, bro. Like I said, bro, I'm not used to having reliable mods. Go ahead, do your thing. But um, yeah, every every nigga I know that like anime, bro, they always get get excited about like when people like like it because like for a long time to like twenty, I say twenty, really twenty seventeen is when it really started to like blow up more and it became like more mainstream twenty. 2018, 2019 became like real more uh, mainstream for anime. But like back in the day when I first started watching anime, uh, like when I very first started, when I started watching like, short shit like Sword Art Online and fucking Inuyasha, like I used to watch like like little shit like shit like that back in the day. Like niggas would look at me like I was weird, and then I just stopped for a while until like it got popular again when niggas was wasn't getting judged for it. But I love the Disney Channel originals, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, uh, no, no, you know, them was good. Hey, let's watch, let it shine, you know let's I mean? watch a Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that static shock, though. Come on. I was static literally shock. just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Superhero. Y'all remember static shock? Static shock. Woohoo! I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you uh, did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices oh, every man. single black. Every single black. Damn. Nah, this nigga's talented, bro. Did y'all watch static shock? Everything. And Samurai Jack. He's Man's black. got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah. Right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Be... Yeah, nah, you be... that like... nigga's not rocking with them, bro. He don't give a fuck what this nigga gotta say, bro. That's yeah, right. I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Be... Yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay, so hmm. why does that bother you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regard to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being. Uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I, I knew like the his upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff. So he kind of had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know. Do y'all parents not want y'all to uh, bring a white girl home? You no, know, family members, like. My mom was not jocking that shit. <laughs> my mom was not jocking that shit, bro. She did not want me to bring no white girls home, bro. Like she would tell my mom would tell me that, my grandma would tell me that, my uh my dad's mom would tell me that, some like my other grandma would tell me that, like hella like hella people in my family was not jocking that, bro. I think the only people who's like really cool with that is like my extended family, like dis like distant like cousins and aunts and shit like that. I can't date a white girl in good faith. <laughs> Matt is a super lame nigga. Like uh I'm sure he cool, but I, I feel what you're saying. Say hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport, so you know she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s, so. Okay. She wasn't playing with none of that really. It's like a brick wall because of my mom. My parents ever put. They just want me to love who I, I love, that. but at the same time, you I think there's always that underlying like. You know, we would love for it to be a black woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was actually the same for me. They never said don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that, but. I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, oh shoot, like you're, you're with somebody who understands you, right. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis, from the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever too, but like, I appreciate a sister, like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. 
Because Tezzy will now vote for who they think is white. All right, they're getting bro out of here now. Finally, they got to get this nigga out of here, though. <laughs> it's, it's like, bro, I don't think they're going to vote this nigga. I'm going to be honest. Like, bro, he he answering good questions. He asking good, he asks good questions. Like, he's engaged in the conversation. You know, he don't even sound like, a, like your average white guy. So, I think this nigga going to win. I'm going to be honest. They're getting, uh, they getting tracksuit out of here. He's not talking enough. We have True, a tie. But, like, when he is talking, I think Rob he's, like... And Brevin. Ooh, it's a tie between these two niggas. Never mind. They might get him out of here. But I think when he is talking, he's, like... He has good input, I think. The way Gabriel is talking is making me better. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Like I said, um, I didn't have a traditional, like, upbringing as far as, like, dating... Um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had a, a two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name Robert, I go by Rob, I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. Being blind, that would be convincing to me. I'm gonna be honest. When it came to he ain't Brevin, said nothing out the it ordinary. seemed like he was privileged, and I relate more to struggle. Hearing some of the things that he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white, and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. <laughs> 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 Yo, hey, hey. I'm hey, I appreciate the try, bro. It looks like we are tied again. Wow, what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just going to say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just a case where he could, like, relate to a lot of, like, black people's struggles. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but he might not be, like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Okay. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central, for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So... I'm gonna say he stays. Rob Black. It's not a lot of white people down here. Uh, I got a cousin who lives in Compton. Bro, did I ever tell y'all that one story? <laughs> bro, I'll keep it short, bro. I had an AAU tournament a few years ago. I was playing in LA and I was gonna see my cousin for a little bit. And then we drop, we uh, driving down his neighborhood. As soon as we pull to this nigga's street, it is a full on street brawl, nigga. Like everybody just fighting for no reason. There's, there's shoes, trash cans, clothes all over the street. Shit, like, it's, bro, it was ridiculous. That shit was crazy, but, um, no, nah, it's not a lot of white people down there for sure. Like, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's the fact, Rob Black. You yeah. sound like people from around my way, so he, no offense to you, Brendan, but, but you gotta kick rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brendan's voice sure. too, though. Like, that's the thing. I hear it in both. Yeah, I but, hear it yeah. for sure. Bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate or? Yeah. yeah. You know, I no think disrespect, that, what but... does hit and lick me? <laughs> <laughs> ew, 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 all right, bro. Yo, what up, Zaz? How you been, buddy? Wait, you not streaming no more? I, I see you was live. Yo, they got that nigga out of there. Rob be at the cookouts for real. Yeah. Rob sound like he know good catfish. But, uh, I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm, I'm sure too he, I'm sure he's very white closer. for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay. It's all good. I think the mole Brevin is still in the right box now. and you want to continue playing the game. I think the reason they I think the reason they actually got, he seems just like in comparison to everyone else that's been speaking, he just seemed slightly more feminine in his vibe. I'm not gonna just sit here and say he yay. I'm not gonna you feel me? Um, but he do seem like a little, you know, and that's pro par partially due to probably like, you know, his upbringing, as they said, or, you know, he could just be whatever. But I think it was, I think it was more so because of that than like anything else. I don't know. Raise your hand. Everyone else just sounds a little more. Like no, black stop. niggas. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck? 
laughing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I knew I wasn't gonna get eliminated. Um, Why is that? That's fire. I don't know. I just came in like I was gonna win. Really, I already said I was gonna win. So. Anybody else got a question? But um, All right, what was I saying? So let's make things a little bit spicy. You feel me? Oh no. What's like? You can just tell. You can just tell a black guy by how one thing that you think too. like. I feel like he just didn't sound black enough. Be, like doing better. In, or like a hot take about like black people and you know our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of the you US, you can't go by that logic. Um, though. With the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot my of fault. I talked over. Uh, I talked all over the question. My fault. Hold on. You, let's make things a little bit spicy. You feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? or like a hot take about like black people and you know our community and stuff like that? Niggas don't know how to fuck to act. Niggas can't never go nowhere. Niggas can't never do shit. <laughs> Niggas just need to do better, bro. Nick, like, bro, literally, bro, too many black environments. And I'm and I watched like a lot of little like, um, like videos of what what's what uh what life is like in different areas, like different like urban environments. Especially, I can speak for myself, nigga. It's like crabs in a fucking bucket, bro. Like, niggas just niggas just be acting crazy, bro. And I'll say like, in terms of like um like a lo loyalty things too like you can't you can't you can't trust niggas bro at all since the beginning of Shut the u.s um with the obvious mistreatment of black people a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us and more so recently the information has been normalized to be pushed out and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information with all that stuff so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. And I think that's dope. But I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the US, it never stays within the black community. The game banger. True. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, gotta elaborate. stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in game banging no more. I mean, mm. uh, if you think about it, you game banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where, you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the stop, enemy though. side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I got to go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. Mm, I feel that. Mm. So it's just, it's that's, that's the first thing got to go. Don't be so quick yeah. to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Subi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against, like, the school or anything of the people who's around, but I feel like the ideas and, uh, and like, the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about, like the way we talk about things. Like I think that there's just so much more to the black community than that. I want to see black people doing okay. goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yes. Come on, now talk about it. Or criminals, or yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters, yeah. or killers. No, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America. But like, you go to China, you go to like some of these other places. Like that's all they see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Word. Y'all gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Same. What the fuck? Saying, it happens. Come on. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. All right. So that's unanimous. We're going to end the game right then and there. Okay? That ticked off for me. If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still right. in the box 
and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three, two, one. It is red. That means we are still here. Win, right? You guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. Damn. <laughs> what? This is, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. Rob. That's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm Brevin. Brevin? Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin. Let's up, yo. Big ups to you, yo. Big ups to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> my whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other wow. people until You're I was like, that's dumb. Wow. wrong, wrong. That's my, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every wow. birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or is it more difficult to get along? With nah, people? nah, no. nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county yeah. jail, juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party, yeah. everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Damn. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. This nigga's, and, this nigga's Jewish? most um, lone feeling that you You can never tell. Like, like, I don't know what, what he, I don't even know what he is. I was like the baby, like. Loki, like the youngest one. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, they get that nigga bread. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? They get that nigga bread. 